In this video, I want to provide an example as to how we can actually derive the model implied variance and covariances between indicator variables using the matrix notation. So the example which I'm talking about here is we have one underlying latent factor, which is an individual's IQ, and that single factor loads on three observed variables. So an individual's level of verbal reasoning, numerical skills, and perhaps some measure of interpersonal ability as well. And we also have the model which we wrote down in the last video, which is the covariance between the V indicator variables with one another. And we want to use this equation up here in order to help us derive the model implied variance and covariance. So how do we go about doing this? Well, first of all, we notice that we've only got one factor in this model, so that the matrix PVF in this example is really the same as the matrix PV1, because the number of factors we have is just one. And the idea is that what we're going to have is that every component of our matrix, which in this case is actually just going to be a column vector, is going to represent one of these loadings. So the first component is going to be 0 0.7, the second 0 0.8, and then the last component, 0.9. So that's just the weightings matrix PV1. What about the matrix RFF? Well, in this example, we've only got one factor. So we're just going to be talking about the variance of that particular factor, which, if we're dealing with standardized variables, as we are here, is just going to be equal to 1. OK, so that's PV1 and RFF sorted out. What about this term here, which is DVV times DVV primed? Well we've already been given essentially what these numbers are. Essentially DVV times DVV primed actually gives us a matrix whereby the diagonal elements correspond to the variances of these particular errors. So in this circumstance we're going to have 0 0.51, 0 0.36 and 0.19 as the diagonals and the off diagonal elements represent any covariances between the errors. And since there are no covariances which I've indicated here then all the off-diagonal elements are going to be equal to zero. So finally, we're now in a position whereby we can actually derive the covariance between these three observed factors with one another. So this is just equal to PVF, which in this circumstance we've already derived. It's just 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0 0.9. Then it's times RFF, which is just one, so we can just forget about that. And then finally, times 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0.9, which is the transpose of our original weight matrix. And then finally, all we need to do is we just need to add on this matrix here, which is this DVV times DVV primed, which is just 0 0.51, 0 0.36, and 0.19 as its diagonal components, and zeros otherwise. OK, so if we actually were to go ahead and do this, what we would find if we just sort of actually did it manually, or whether we put it into some sort of program like MATLAB, for example, we would find that we would have a matrix which had ones down the diagonal and the off diagonal components, for example, this one here would be something like 0.56, another one might be 0.63 and etc, etc. Then these other components actually represent the covariance between the observed variables. So in this example, the covariance or the model predicted covariance between verbal and numeral, uh, numerical reasoning rather would be equal to 0.56. So let's just double check that that's exactly what we would have got if we were just using our sort of path method. Essentially what we do is we start at verbal, we walk along until we hit the factor, which is IQ, and then we walk up to numerical. And in doing so we pass 0 0.7 and 0 0.8, hence we have to multiply those together and we get 0.56 overall. And because there's no covariance of the errors here, we don't need to add anything else onto that. So it's exactly the same as what we would have got had we just used our sort of walking path method. Anyway, I hope that this has provided an example as to how we can actually use the matrix notation of factor analysis models in order to derive the model implied variance covariance matrices.